Hi, my name is Blaine from Nextside. We are Drupal experts located outside Toronto, and we have an area of expertise around business applications. This video is an introduction to our Drupal module for business workflow called Maestro. I will demonstrate using a fictitious insurance company which has implemented Maestro for their online home and auto quote submission process. But before actually doing the demo, let's examine what the actual business process looks like. This is an industry independent business process workflow of an auto and home insurance sales process. In this process, we've got three main actors. We have the agent, the potential client, and our underwriting team. In our implementation that we're gonna show you using Maestro, it's gonna be slightly different because we're gonna initiate the process from the client. They're going to fill out an online web form of an insurance quote. It is going to get then sent to the agent for review. The agent may have questions regarding the previous policies or just the information that's been filled out by the client. Maestro will show you, uh, in our demo, we'll show you how we can route that request back to the client, have them answer questions, route it back to the agent to review. If there's still more outstanding questions, it can be routed back again to the client until all the questions are answered. Once the agent is satisfied with the, with the actual application, it will then submit it and it will move on to the underwriting team. The underwriting team can then review it. They also have the option of routing it back to the agent for additional information. Once the underwriting team then decides if it's going to approve it or deny it. If it's approved, we'll generate a policy and send that to the client. Let's now begin the demo of requesting a home insurance quote. We'll get to a landing page where we are showing a disclaimer here, just to make sure that uh, no one's coming here to actually do an actual insurance quote, that they understand this is a demo of the Maestro workflow engine. Clicking on the begin button here, we'll launch web form. And uh, we're gonna just ask some very basic information, contact information, address information, I'm going to see whether or not they've actually had insurance before. I'm showing some of the functionality of Webform. This is very straightforward to do with Webform. Um, and uh, we're just going to enter information about your uh, existing insurance company and have you had a claim. And then if you had, you can enter multiple information about the claims. And then we've got a question here about pets and bankruptcy, some financial information. Once you submit this, and I'll fill it in here in a second, we'll, um, and then submit it. Um, that will actually trigger and launch the Meister workflow and start the, uh, the business process. Okay, we've now actually filled this in for Joe. Um, his address information, um, current homeowner insurance policy, we're going to renew here in May, uh, has one pet. So now we're going to go ahead and submit this. All right, thank you. Your request has been submitted. We'll now check and see if uh, Joe has received any email, maybe acknowledging that uh, his quote is being processed. So here we are looking at uh, Joe's email. In fact, we now do have an email from the Nextide demo site, and it's thanking us for our quote submission. You can see that we've got an email, and it's indicating that um, an account was created for us. Um, using our email address, it's sent us the password and a link so that we can actually check the status of our insurance quote. I'm logged in here as admin, and I just want to show you one of the views that shows outstanding tasks. And what we'll notice down here at the very bottom is we have, because that's the latest, latest process or latest task, is that we have a task called review quote submission um, for um, a task that actually has the user's email address in it or, or uh, username, and it's assigned to the agent. Now, the agent should have received an email notification alerting them to the fact they have a new task to do. While checking the email for the agent, we'll see that we've actually got an email notification. This is an automatic email that is sent out by Maestro when new tasks are assigned. The uh, email format is uh, very customizable. Uh, this is sort of a default one. It's giving us information um, that we have a new submission, and it's giving us a link that we can use to get to our task console, which I will now show you. Logging in as the agent, and this is our task console. Uh, this is a Maestro provided uh, view. 
that is showing for this particular user all of their workflow associated uh, Maestro tasks. And Maestro has the ability for you to customize the name of the flow to attach relevant information. In this case, we're attaching the uh, email address of the user just so we can have some unique identification. Let's go ahead and execute this uh, interactive task. Clicking on execute will bring up a view. Um, this, is a, a, this is a web form view showing us the actual web form submission. So we can see a lot of the information that was filled in. Um, it's in view only, but um, we've also attached this a bit of customization that we've done here for the demo. Um, standard Drupal type of uh, coding here where we've attached a field so that we can give the agent an opportunity here to ask additional questions. And upon reviewing this, um, he sees there's been no claims. And so we may just want to now verify, uh, make sure that they haven't forgotten any previous claims in the last five years. So the agent in this case is asking this question. And I'm going to go ahead and send this back to client for review. The other options I have here as an agent is accept, which will then move the, uh, the workflow on to the underwriter. Um, but in this case, I'm going to send it back to the client. So the workflow here is actually going to go back to the client. The client will get an email notification indicating that there's additional information required. And we can loop back and forth through this as many times as necessary until the agent says that, um, uh, that they are happy with the, the application and that they wish to, to send it back. The other course is they can cancel it and not accept this quote and basically cancel the workflow at this point. I'm going to go ahead and send it back to the client for review. I go back to my task console and I can see that that one task is now gone. So the agent has a view here of all the outstanding requests that they currently have tasks for. Looking at uh, Joe's email, we see that we've got a new email asking us um, we need more information. Thank you for your request for Maestro Insurance. We've had a chance to review your information. One of our agents has a few more questions. Click here to log into the system and fill in your extra information. You'll remember that we actually created an account for, for Joe, so he'll use his login credentials to now log in and provide additional information. We now track that information on this user ID. So here I am logged in as Joe, and if I go to uh, the dashboard, we'll see that there's actually a nice little status um, timeline here that Maestro is providing that is dynamically updated um, as this workflow progresses, we can see that we've, we're processing the request, but we're actually sitting here at this task, agent questions for you. Let's go to his task console. And I can see that I've got a task for need clarification. Um, and I'll go ahead and execute this and see what we get. We've got a nice little form here with the question and the agent that the agent is asking, and I'll just go ahead and fill in my, my response. There we are, we've got our response, and let's now just send this back to the agent. This effectively will now complete the task. Thank you for your response, and if I go and check my task console, I shouldn't have anything. Yep, no new tasks. Checking our dashboard, we'll see now that we're still in step two, but the uh, it's an agent review. We still haven't passed the agent review. Um, once we do, we'll get on to the underwriter review, and finally, the quote is ready. Okay, so log back in as the agent and looking at their task console, we see that we've got the review quote submission task has come back to the agent. I'm going to go ahead and click on execute and we're going to see the same uh, web view uh, or the view of the, uh, the form as well as we've collected the question and answer. So we see the original question and the answer that came back and we see it right here. Are you sure? And the answer. So if I wasn't satisfied as the agent, I would route it back in this case to Joe Aberdeen to get additional information. But in this case, let's go ahead and accept it and the workflow will complete this task for the agent and route this information on to the underwriter. All right, so here I am logged in as the underwriter and I see that I've got a single task right now on my task console. It's the same um, client. And in this particular case, the underwriter really doesn't know too much about the details of, of this process. Uh, how it's been routing through the system. So let's go ahead and expand the details. This is something Maestro also provides in its task console. Expanding the details brings us a quick summary of the timeline of the uh, of this request through the system. I can see now that I'm sitting here and I can, the underwriter uh, will be very familiar with the process, but um, 
I can see that uh, it's a step three. Um, additionally, we have access to the, uh, the insurance quote and the history. And I can see that the agent, uh, in this case, wrote it back to the client. And if I was curious about the amount of time that this process took, um, I have the history here. Maestro keeps detailed statistics on every task um, as it goes through the system. Both assigned and completed timestamps are, are tracked for reporting purposes. All right, let's go ahead and execute this. So the underwriter has access to the original form and, and its results. And from here, the underwriter, upon reviewing the information, he may determine that there's still some outstanding information to fully price this insurance quote. So if he does, he'll ask the questions here and he will send this back to the client for review. Um, additionally, the workflow could be sending it back to the agent, which is made more appropriate in some, some cases. That's easy to modify with uh, Maestro. But in this case, let's go ahead and accept this quote and generate the underwriting documents. Now, in a real workflow, again, we're trying to streamline this for demo purposes here. Um, you know, the underwriting may be attaching additional documents. They're going to be providing some pricing. Um, you can imagine that this is a, a form that has additional um, information that's got to be collected. But for this demo purposes, what we're trying to show is how forms can be routed. Um, they can be appended. Um, we can route the workflow back to previous um, actors in the workflow. And we can customize the actions on the form itself to control the workflow. So let's go ahead and uh, complete this. Clicking on accept will now complete the agent's task, returning them to their task console. In the background, the workflow is actually going to generate the insurance policy and send that policy on to the client, in this case, Joe Aberdeen. Logging back in as Joe Aberdeen, um, he had received an email notification letting him know that his quote was ready for review. Um, Joe logs in and you can see um, through his dashboard that is um, everything has gone through the workflow. His insurance quote is now ready for review. You can click on that and he actually has a button here to uh, present his quote. And if I just click on this, I'll now bring up the actual insurance quote. That concludes our demo of Maestro. Additional videos and resources, including a walkthrough of the Maestro Workflow Editor and how we built the workflow for the insurance quote process, are available on our site, www.nexttide.ca. Thank you very much.